Hello and welcome to Bad Dream Memories. Uh, unfortunately, I have played through this one. Uh, what happened was, um, when I went to exit the game, for some reason my computer locked up. It wasn't like it shut down or like any of the previous problems, it just locked up for uh, whatever reason. So unfortunately, I do know how to get through this. Um, but I, I'll play through it again, because I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, basically, you, you progress through this one by finding objects within pictures, and then the pictures actually tell the story. So, as you can see here, we have the, uh, him, his dad, and his mom. And they're at a new house, and I picked up a pair of scissors. Um, let's see. And in order to get the pictures to work, see, now I have the scissors down here. If I give the scissors to him... Alright, I take that bottle, and then I gave the, sis the scissors to the sister. We got a little spike here, and they're in the garden. See those two flowers? They got uh, cut down. Now in real life they're cut down, and there's the scissors. So now in real life we can use the scissors here trying to think that didn't open it's been a couple days since I last played so I got a mallet doesn't look like there's anything else there I was never sure if this guy could actually kill you I never ran into a situation where he did he just sits there and stares at you menacingly trying to think. Oh yeah, the, the bottle goes there, and then you can pick it up, and then it has another picture, which you can use the mallet to give Spike a house, and then now you can actually go in Spike's house, and you have my pets, and you can take the fish, and I think you can put the fish in the water, yeah, but it comes back as a dead fish, which is gross. Uh, where can you use the dead fish? Oh yeah, you can use it on that guy. And then you get the pass. The pass lets you go in here. Now I'm trying to remember. This one's like really, really sad. I remember that much. Spike died. Poor guy. Poor Spike. Don't think there was anything else there. Poor doggy. And then, like, I couldn't explain this. I think it's the fact that, like, the, the boy, the me person, is growing up and, like, his parents, he slowly feels this, like, disconnect between himself and his parents. And he can see that his parents are getting older and you can see that they're gonna become closer to death. He, like, he's worried about them dying. And now, yeah, there's that that's going on outside. If we go back there, now the Grim Reaper's scythe and everything's out here. So, what happened was, this door's open, uh, the boy, um, my first art, he came up with a plan to save his parents. How to save my parents to he was going to create a toy army to stop their death. And there's a teddy bear with like razor sharp claws, the two heads that we saw decapitated, the car, uh, the marionette. But he devised a trap and it was to use this box, a spring, and the pair of scissors. So now we have to go find the box. Here's the spring. Where's the box? Where's the box? Oh wait, we have a key that just goes here. Dear Santa, things I would like for Christmas. A fish, a bone for Spike, a car, and a teddy bear. Hmm. What did I have to do again? I'm trying to think here.
Oh, there it is. And now I can take that and put it on here, which means now there's probably going to be a box in here. Yes. So we have the box, the spring, and the scissors. And if we combine those all together, we can put it in front of here, where the Grim Reaper is. Oh, wait. And then we can chase him off. See? He's gone. And now everything's reversed, right? You can't do anything to stop me. I'm sorry. D. The teddy bear is there. Did the entire family die? You can't do anything to stop me. I'm sorry. Death. I don't know how to interpret this ending. I would like to say that's the mother and father, and then the son, and that they, they all just died. But what if this is the son, that's his kid, the wife, and those are the grandparents, but I don't know who how to explain who that one would be then. But regardless, he was not able to stop death. The end. But yeah, that one was a lot sadder, and I really like the, the memories theme, the tune here. This has to be my favorite of all the bad dream games, and believe it or not, I'm not just saying that because it was the least gruesome or anything. I know that kind of stuff makes me kind of gringe and, and whatnot, but this one has been my absolute favorite so far, and uh, I just, I really enjoy it. Uh, enjoyed it, so... It was obviously a lot more interesting the first time that I played through it, but unfortunately I lost that file. Oh well. Anywho. So that was Bad Dream Memories. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video. So, see you all then.